you talk a little bit about some of the different tenor grades and maybe give us a little sample of how their sounds differ? Okay. From, from Coleman Hawkins to Lester Young to Stan Getz to Sonny Rollins to John Coulter. Just give us a little little flavor. You're one of the few people that can do that. Jesus, I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> Hand me the ball. Ten year lines. You better take your call. <laughs> I hope I do. Anyway, um, all of the players that have come down the pike uh, from Frankie Trumbauer on, everybody has had their own unique personality, ability to communicate and to bring their soul through the instrument, a metallic object, uh, which is difficult to do. You have to try to master the instrument first, and then you take the instrument within yourself, and then it becomes your innermost thought, and this just channels it. And that's what I'm trying to do on my saxophone. I've listened to all the all the great players down the pipe, so I get the concept of what I should be thinking, what I should be doing. Uh, you get to Coleman Hawkins, um, and you've got a very robust sound. I've got, you talked about it. Listen to body and stuff. Yeah, well, he would play with Sonny Rollins came along in the late 50s. He'd been listening to Charlie Parker and all these guys, but he played the tenor. He was from the Caribbean. And he got on the dope, and he got off the dope, and he did an article for Downbeat Magazine. Had a picture of him all in black. Here's this guy, great big guy, man's waist is down, he's got the, got the arms going, the shoulders. He'd been training, he said, they interviewed him, he said, <clears throat> I've decided that I should work out more on my weights and on my body so that I can push the air through the horn. And it made total sense because this is a wind instrument. Here's Sonny Rollins. <laughs> Power. 
but he went back and stayed at the gym. And guess what? Most everybody's dead. Sonny Rollins ain't dead. Sonny Rollins still looks good. Um, man, he's been getting all kinds of awards. So stay in the game. Stay in the game. Don't hit the sidelines, and you'll reap what you have sown if you live long enough. Sometimes you got to live a long time before you get what's coming to you. All right? But be patient. And always think good thoughts. Now, after that, <clears throat> you had guys coming on like John Coltrane uh, was an innovator and started changing his playing and started bringing out a lot of uh, new ideas with chords and, and uh, running off that flat nine and the sharp nine chord and making all these different things work. And they would almost, they were like shadow chords. And he would make all this stuff work. And then he would get false fingerings going. And then he got into what's called the avant-garde, which is way out. That's free jazz. You don't adhere to any kind of chord structure confines at all. And I'll see if I can get some of that sound. <laughs> Thank you. 